Hey there, so in this video, we want to see how we can create our own events with Eventbrite and how we can sell our own tickets. So before we start, really important, you will find the link to Eventbrite below this video and you can start for free using my link here. And at the same time, you're helping me and my channel to grow. So thank you a lot if you're using my link down below. Let's start. Once you've clicked on the link, you will land on this page here and then you can click on create events. And now you can get started for free. And here you can either sign up with Apple ID, Google, or simply an email and a password. And then there will be a quick quiz about what kind of event you want to create. For example, I will create a concert and music artist performance and number of events per year, maybe two or five concerts and number of people, hopefully more than 250. And now they ask you what matters to you the most, something budget friendly and easy to use. Sounds good. So this is just a quick quiz from their side and then click continue and in the next step they ask you for your phone number but you can skip this up here so I don't really want to give them my phone number so I can just click skip and now you have the option to either discover Eventbrite or you just go straight ahead and create your first event. So let's go to the event builder and create our own event. And here you can type in the title. I'm really bad at creating interesting titles and descriptions. So that's why I asked ChatGPT to create me a title and a description for my concert. And now I can just copy and paste it in here. So Julian's acoustic night in the arena. Then when does it start? So I will launch my first concert let's say on the 27th of september and the start time will be 7 p.m and it will stop playing at 9 30 and now you can select the venue so you can just type in the location but you can also create online events with eventbrite so then you just select online but i think most of you will create a location based events and in my city there's the Lanxess arena here in cologne in germany it's a big arena where concerts and other events take place and now you get asked how much do you want to get charged for the ticket so i can say let's say 40 euros or if you selected dollars before then it will be 40 dollars and my tickets are free of course not i want to earn something for my art here so let's say 40 euros and the next question is what's the capacity for your event let's say a thousand people can come and then you can go ahead and create your event and this takes a few seconds and now the event is already live. You noticed it was quite easy to create it. So that's the quick startup guide, but you can also go ahead and say, okay, I want to edit the event. So I want to have my own pictures or you want to add an FAQ page or you want to have some promo codes for the tickets, some discounts and so on. So we can just go ahead and click on edit event and then you will land on this page. And now you're inside the editor, the event editor. And here you can make more edits to your event. For example, we can change the picture here so you can just go ahead and upload your own pictures just click on upload and I have two pictures here for my concert just a guy playing the guitar which will be me in this case and I have another one of the crowd cheering to my music click save and of course the pictures are also created with chat GPT so you can also use it to create pictures for concerts so I think this is quite cool and then I just uploaded it to Eventbrite here and now I just want to make this picture my cover picture so I can just drag it here and now it's the cover picture the cover image and if I want to get rid of it I can just delete it and upload a new one and you can also upload a video which is quite cool so people can check your music before they book the ticket and in here we can now type in the event title which we already did and down here we can have a quick summary so I will just get the first sentence from my description so this is just a preview for people when they are on your event page and now we already put in the date and the time but we can edit this here and of course the location will be the same and now we have an overview here and this is AI generated from Eventbrite but I want to put in my own description which is also AI generated but I can put it in here and then I have my own description and you can also add text and images to your description but we already did so at the top so I think it's okay and here you can put in more infos for 
for example, if your concert is age restricted, for example, 21. So in America, people can start drinking on your concert then. So if you have an age restriction, just choose it. And this is the when people can check in for your event. So maybe let's say 60 minutes before your event starts, they can check in their tickets and get to their seats. And of course, if there's free parking or paid parking, also add this so people know where to park their cars. And now we have this so people have really good overview where it takes place, when it takes place and get some visual impressions, uh, some pictures here. And if you have more than one person at the event, so a lineup, for example, at a comedy festival or a music festival, you probably have more than one person like a headliner or some pre-bands. Or if you have a business event with multiple speakers, you can put in the speakers. So you can hear in the lineup, you can put in the artists or the speakers of your event. But now in this case, it's just me playing the guitar. So I'm good. And if you have like a full Congress, for example, and you have an agenda with a timetable, you can also do this here and put in the timetable here. So yeah, you can always get more specific here. But for me now it's okay because I'm the only one playing. So I can click save and get to the next step. And now at the next step here at tickets, we already have our tickets here, but you can play around with this. For example, you can add a discount here. So promotions and in here you can create just a discount and people get discount on your price or you can have ticket holds. For example, if friends and family are coming, you can have a special area just for your friends and family. So yeah, just take a look at it. It's just some additional settings, which most of you might not need. But our general admission to the concert is 40 euros. And then we can click next. And if you are on dollars, you can always go here on settings and put it to dollars. But I think if you signed up from the US, it will be automatically in your local currency in dollars. So but now let's click next because now the interesting part comes, we can publish the event. And here we can just select the type, the category and the subcategory and put also some tags in so people can find it on Eventbrite. But the most important part is that we put the organizer here, for example, the Weber Media Agency, for example, selling my tickets. And now we can just go ahead and make the event public and you can have a refund policy or you don't allow refunds, but I would go ahead and say, okay, refunds are okay if they come in seven days before the event because then I can just resell them. And if you want to publish now, just click publish now or you can schedule for later and make it like a ticket drop for your festival or for your concert. But that's up to you. I will publish it now because then we can go ahead and check out the page. And now congrats, you successfully launched your first event. Here's a dashboard of the event, how many tickets you sold, what's your net sales volume, how much you earned for the tickets. And now we can also check out the event page. So just click on view and here you will see how people can buy your tickets. So up here you have the link. You don't need the last part. So you can just copy this link and share it on social media or to your email list or yeah, wherever you want to promote your event. And people then go ahead they see the picture, the title, the description, and then they can just buy the ticket and pay with credit card or PayPal. So that's quite easy. This is how you will create your first event. And now we just need to do two more important steps in order to be ready to sell those. Actually, we go back to the home screen of Eventbrite because here they gave us a quick checklist and we need to set up our organization profile or organizer profile. So either you as an artist or your agency promote this so you can take a profile picture here and put it in you can link your website and just put in an organizer bio describing the whole thing so that would be important and if you want to promote your event on Facebook you will have a tracking ID down here and just put it there but what is the third step is even more important because we want to actually get paid so we can create or add our bank account to our Eventbrite account so you can just put your first name last name and your checkings account or savings account so when you sell a ticket, you will get the money from Eventbrite to your account. So yeah, that's basically it. Of course, you can get more complicated with setting up your event and put like a seating plan there. But basically, you will see your event here under events. This is the concert which we just created. You will 
see how many tickets are already sold and you will see your orders here so here you will find the individual orders from the people you can also refund them here you can do some marketing under this tab but of course this is just eventbrite helping you a little bit with email campaigns but i think you will own the social media yourself and of course you can create more than one event just click on create event and you can create your next music concert and you can create as many as you like because eventbrite gets paid by the ticket they just have a small fee on the ticket sale which is excluded so people when they purchase your ticket for 40 euros they will pay like i don't know 42 euros or 42 dollars and the two dollars go to eventbrite so if you want to check it out go to eventbrite you will find my link down in the description just click on it thank you if you do so it helps me a lot to do more of these videos in the future and here on eventbrite you can just go ahead and just click on create event if you have any questions leave a comment down below and if you're down there give it a thumbs up and i hope you have a lot of success with your concert or your event and you sell out all your tickets 